Hey everyone, Opaque Flake here, welcoming you back to the year of Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 3. So looking at the outside world, it does look like I need to go around or further in for the uh, inside tower. I thought that's what I was inside, but no, this is the uh, wall protecting it. Fancy that, getting into a battle right before entering the room. That's kind of rare, but anyways, Iron Claws. I have no idea what you're weak against, but let's find out. Alright, I should remove that shield from now on. I might not be needing it. I'm hoping the enemies are not too strong, but then again, at the same time I am. Been thinking about my final formation. This is nice. It's not that bad. There's a nice amount of damage going down here. And I'm a dude lever again, apparently. But... 3,800 experience. Considering I missed out on Gungnir, like I said in the description on the part where I fought Odin, I don't know anymore. I do need better swords for Refia, though. Again, I know I'll be getting the Excalibur and the Muramasa. Not the Muramasa. Murasame. Muramasa is another sword that's... Well, actually, that's a blade. But that could be a Dark Knight or Ninja Blade. Which makes sense, because Budamasa. Anywho. <laughs> right, moving on. Into this enemy, apparently. A greater demon. So is there a lesser demon? I know I got the swords. Ninja Knight. Definitely want a Ninja Knight. I think I'm going to make Ark the Devout. But like I said, why... Oh, what the fuck? Why waste my time? Leveling or job level again. You know? It's like, why? Like, why would I want to do that? I mean, think about it. Why would I want to do that? So, I'm juggling right now between Ark being a Dragoon or a Black Belt. Already 700 experience. I mean, black magic. I'm not a huge user of magic because in most games, unless you max out the job level or at the very least their stats, that's the only time magic becomes useful. But even then, attacks do a lot of damage. And it doesn't take too long. It's just based on the weapons. Magic is based on stats. I don't think a magic has ever scaled off weapons that well. Unless it says M.ATK, which is magic attack. I could be wrong, I don't know, but another Dillahan. But the proper name is Thanatos! Not Xanatos from Gargoyles, though. No, you attacked twice. You cheeky bastard. Two thousand eight hundred and fifty experience with five thousand gil. They give quite a bit of money, 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 or gil, I guess, in this sense. I mean, I think a summoner might be worth it. The only problem is, is that it's only going to be able to summon and items, which I think limits its usefulness. Unlike in Final Fantasy V, where you can actually mix jobs. I have no idea what I'm going to choose for Final Fantasy V to fight X-Death. I need to look up my old memory card, if I can find it. What the hell did I use to fight X-Death? That was so long ago. Damn, I'm curious. I doubt I'll be able to find my memory card. And so far, I'm getting lucky with no random encounters. Holy shit. Is it bugged? I honestly thought that dual Hakan was the helmet. Okay, this has to be the right way. Where the hell are the enemies, man? 
I mean, not that I'm asking for it. Oh, actually, I'm asking for it. I want to play some stuff. If that makes any sense, I want to play stuff. Hello, what's this then? Zombie dragon. Bone dragon. Close enough. Uh... I kind of want to cast Raze, but... Let's play it safe. Probably should have checked its health. Has more than 10,000, so there's that. 2,850 experience with about 4,800 gil. I'm gonna assume it had about 13k HP. These mechanical ancient floors are or whatever. I have no idea. Something about an Egyptian or Mayan or Incan stuff. I don't know. Right blade, right? Alright. Swords. Damn! 220. Now for my ritual, check if you are stronger without it. Well, you hit the 100 mark. I think by job level 30 he'll be useful without the claws. Which might not even be much to begin with. I'd honestly make a Luna the Black Belt if I could, but he'd be doing shit damage. He needs claws, and I sold all the good claws. Except the claws that, uh, Arcas. Well, that's creative. Wait, if your Una is clone... Am I right for being worried? And that break blade looks rusted as a motherfucker. Thirty six hundred experience with an overkill. But that's what haste and boost does to you. I assume eventually boost is gonna be useless. And I think you're only gonna need haste. I know it stacks, so boost, 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 and you're good. Alright, Rune did a snowstorm, which did quite a bit of damage. We were near full health. So, uh, ow. Very much so. Gotta be wary about the, uh, using cures now. Oh, I can use Kira, so, I mean, Kira goes a lot of points there. Level 11, I think, maybe 25, 30. I'm assuming Ark would be viable without the claws. Because as soon as he gets that, I'm gonna switch Refia into a black belt. Because as soon as that happens, I'm gonna switch Refia into a black belt. Because I want her to have more HP. Because I'm a keeper as a knight, but I just want her to have more HP. I'm gonna assume Holy Lands has about 125 attack damage. I haven't checked it, but I will. As soon as I grab this! Oh wow, I called it! And Hellish Claw can inflict poison. Hey, if I get one more claw, I'll just switch to uh, Black Belt right now. Well, then again, after I fight the boss, because I do want Refia as a knight for the boss. Which there is none for some reason. Alright. I swear I feel like I'm in pandemonium. Bluck. But to be honest, Pandemonium was a lot more badass. But then again, I haven't listened to this whole soundtrack in the range yet, so there's that. I'm gonna switch it to its 8-bit uh, in a bit. Those Poison Claws look like... Um, 
some type of Beetleborg hand accessory or something. Forty two hundred experience. Bahamut's Cave actually has some nice places to grind, so there's that if you want to grind. Of course, if you want to grind job levels, like I said, you just kill the weak enemies. It's all based on how many attacks you do. And a gym clone, Azir. Azir, I don't know. Actually running out of Libras, that's crazy. Surprisingly, I'm using Libra a lot. The dude's still weak against ice. I mean, I know they're not the same any, but... Recolor and all that fun stuff. That motherfucker. Forty-four hundred experience, and I accidentally teleported myself up. Whatever. So am I gonna fight like boss clones here? I'm okay with that. It's just I'm curious. Is, is it the break blade that's making it get hurt? Maybe. Can it cast break? No, but it can inflict petrify, so that's cool. That's actually how the break blade works. You know what? I'm gonna keep this as the final formation. I might as well. But I really want more claws. Or for Ark to already be proficient with this fist. You know, the more I think about it, I think job level grinding is okay. As long as I don't go over 50. I know there are people who play JRPGs and grind the fuck out of the characters and just play smoothly so they can enjoy the story. And all that other fine jazz, but me... I just can't enjoy a video game if I'm not being challenged. I mean... If I want to play just press one button to win, then I'll play something like that, but if I'm not getting challenged or having any form of fun, well, to be fair, if I'm not being challenged, I'm not having fun. There are games that I, I rarely, rarely play for entertainment. Entertainment games are games like Until Dawn or visual novel games, I guess, you know, where you just read and you're being entertained by the story or how whatever have you and all that fun shit. But for the most part, I'm playing games so I can, uh, well, challenge my reflexes, timing, high scores, and all that fun stuff. Wait, am I really close to the end of the game? Oh look, Doga. Doga's clone or whatever. Figures. If I am... No, I doubt it. I have to fight Zande. Then I have to fight Cloud of Darkness. Spoilers, the Cloud of Darkness is the final boss. But I'm wondering if I have to fight Zande, then the Cloud of Darkness. To... Fight. Or finish the game, so that would suck. 
I should definitely save and break Aga. Sucks. I don't want to waste my Suna because of Kiraja, but... So I won't. I got a lot of gold needles. Anyone born in the year 1999? Because at this moment, you are Lunith, and if you're born in 1961, you are Ingus. No one's been born in 2042, and I don't think anyone's been alive since 1882, so, uh, yeah. And if you were, you're a fucking zombie. I'm pretty sure the Cloud of Darkness is gonna be like... You have to fight her in an airship during the Invincible, like, you gotta fly into the cloud. That has to be something for the black belts. Black belts and um, ninjas share the same equipment. I'm only giving it to Ark because black belts are usually... are generally weaker than a ninja. That and boost. You know, now that I think about it, job levels leveling up per action on when they occur, it's pretty stupid. But I guess fair? I, I, I don't think it's fair. I just think it's stupid. Because that just says, go into a battle and spam guard. Oh, hey, Shinobi. And once you spam guard, end the battle, and there's your job level. Rinse and repeat. It doesn't stack up the whole job level thing. Which, that's where I think it's stupid. If it was by JP points, I would actually prefer that. Although that does encourage grinding for levels. But in the old DNS version, levels and job levels were not... Well, job levels weren't a thing to begin with. Levels... Afflicted or carried on whatever you gain from the jobs. I think there's a little bit more to it, but I could be wrong. Oh, so the damage they get is um, them being poisoned. It took me a while because they don't turn green or whatever when they get poisoned, so there you go. Also, poison never worked. I mean, I only tried it like twice. Once against the, uh, the giant rat boss and some random enemy you guys have never seen. But R can get a poison status effect, but not the boss. And by that I mean the little green bubbly dots. Again, the enemies don't get an indication that they've been poisoned, just us. They dropped a black hole. I don't know how you can drop something like that, but they did. Or maybe that pouch is like a super ultra badass pouch. So what the fuck are these? Had to run away from a back attack. Come, come. That's what it says. Come, come. Or if they were Meta Knight, they'd be like, Come. Come. They're gross. You don't need to tell me about it. In fact, that's why they're a rag. They're a rag of come comes. Five thousand eight hundred and sixty-six experience. That is a weird interval, or number of experience, but whatever. I'm gonna have to teleport outside and heal up because I'm running out of MP here. I should be doing fine. All right, let's see how you do at fifteen, buddy. One twenty, so useless. Got it. Oh, Goldor is now purplore? Right? You're purplore? Platinal. Sure, why not? I think armor values are invalid here. I don't know, I don't think Refia should be taking that much damage. Thirty three hundred experience. I 
I think you get more HP when you level up as a black belt. And since I'm at such a high level, I don't think that's gonna pan out well for me later on. Because the Jao level is giving about 10 to 15 HP per, so I'm not 100% sure, I'll just look it up. I think I'm going the right way. You know me, I hope I'm not. Wait a minute. Didn't... Is this a place where I'm supposed to get the badass equipment? For? Or to fight Zande? Now that I think about it, didn't they say use this key to get badass equipment that was forbidden? In an odd realm? Because they were that badass of an equipment? I honestly can't tell. But I need to go back and check. Well, the other spots I probably missed. Alright. All that for an elixir. Well, see you in the other room. Truth be told, if I had fought more magicians here, my strategy would be floundered. Just because Refia can't guard against magic. Although I think there were some classes that could take the hit for magic. Although I doubt Final Fantasy did that. It was probably some other game. There's gotta be a false wall here somewhere. I am definitely feeling a struggle here. Okay. What am I fighting? Why does he look like some kind of He-Man character? Glacia Labolus. Matalibros. Screw it, let's see if this works. Why am I not surprised? Holy shit, I'm getting a lot of chocobos wraps here. Three thousand four hundred and fifty experience. A lot of gale, I think it was eighty four hundred. Ooh, throwing items. So what the hell is Raven's Yawn for you? Apparently I have some already. Oh, that's right, I got in some from some enemies before. Tornado, okay. That would have been very useful against Bahamut. You know what, I'm starting to notice some Kind of, uh, what's the word? Discrepancies? The more job levels I get, the less damage I'm taking, and the more damage I'm dishing out. I thought that was based off your initial level, not job level. 
okay, the job level for damage, that makes sense, you know, for a number of hits, but for damage and how effective your armor is? I thought that was based off your initial level. What the fuck? Maybe they changed that for this version. And the, I know the original version, that's how it worked. But then again, that's probably my fault for not checking online. I threw a Medusa arrow and I did 2.5k damage. I wanna know... I assume I just threw one. Right, okay. Good, I just threw one. I had to throw it because that one new enemy we fought, the lattice new enemy, the dude who looked like he was from a He-Man game, I mean cartoon rather. Dude punched. He punches hard and he inflicts confused. So uh, definitely want to run away from that. I'm glad I have an auto shroom, because I'm ready to leave this place. I do not feel confident to fight the boss this low on resources. I think I'm close. Yep, it looks like I am. I'm getting a lot of elixirs. I think I am close to the boss. Let's see. Uses level 2 magic. A Kiraga, some Kirajas. Level on potions. I'm gonna have to start using those elixirs. Hmm. I think I can handle the boss. But I want Ark to level one more time and job level. Yeah, that's not presentation enough for the boss area. Then I don't know what is. Okay, that battle is a sign. I'm gonna go out and save. I don't mind using the elixirs. It's the fact of how much progress I've made up here. I need to save. I need to save. So, um... Yeah, I'll see you back up here. So on my way back up, I realized I skipped this little part in here. And inside there, leads me to another place I haven't been. And I assume this is the place where you get the badass equipment because it's so close to the entrance. By the way, in the ancient maze, I found another elixir. It is to the right of the exit, or the entrance to the start of the dungeon, which is... It's in the first room you enter. And yeah, this is the place where you get the badass equipment. Neat. Uh, a baya, a baya, whatever. 
Abaea? Let's go with that. Abaea. Abba Zabba. The band was called Abba Abba Zabba's Candy, I believe. Abba Zabba's the Candy, I believe. Either way, both of them are good at their own right. That's a lot of elixirs. Funny thing is, I was planning on using my elixirs from now on. I think I am towards the end. Slepnia. Oh, that was you. Okay. Go ahead and leave, They're not that bad. I think I was supposed to go here before going up the tower. They give 2,000 experience each. I think this is another dungeon, too. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna end the part here. So with that said and done, thank you for watching this part of Let's Play Final Fantasy 3, part of the year Final Fantasy with me, El Paquilic. See you in the next part. Okay, thanks, bye.